Hey CBO aka Cole Brown official and today I will be talking about three red flags we tend to ignore. I see these red flags all the time. I ignore them myself. You pay attention to this video. Pay attention. It's going to save you a lot of time and money. So let's get started. I'm going to start at number three and we're going down to number one. So number three, if she lives for the gram. She loves social media. She's a she's an Instagram addict. This is a huge red flag and trust me, man, you would never be enough for a woman like this. She will always crave attention from these strangers online. Now, some women, they might look like they're addicted, but they, I'll delete Instagram from them, man. I'll delete Snapchat for, I don't care about social media. That's probably going to be a solid woman. But if she's always focused on the gram, dude, go the other way. And I'll tell y'all from experience, I dated a girl that cared about social media so much. And she acted like she did and she was good at fooling me. But over time, I'm like, damn, you care about that thing way too much. We went on a trip. We went to a little lake house, right? And she kept saying, oh, it got to have a hot tub. It got to have a hot tub. I'm like, yeah, I like hot tubs too, so let's do it. We chilling in the hot tub, and she's like, can you take my picture? I'm like, oh, you want to take photos? I thought we were going to take a photo together, right? She's like, no, like, take a photo of me. We can do that after, but, I mean, I'm like, the amount of disgust, right? I, don't, I, don't, I think it just came out. It just showed on my face. Like, I wasn't trying to look disgusted, but I was just disgusted. She telling me out, oh, yeah, I seen this girl on Instagram. I want to be posting pictures like this in the hot tub in my bikini. I'm like, the nerve. Like, what the, what the hell is wrong with you? That's what I'm feeling. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? The reason why you want a hot tub to take a picture in your bikini and you think I'm going to stand out here getting different angles of your ass cheeks? What the hell you take me for? You know what I'm saying? I feel dis disrespected low key, <laughs> right? I'm like, what is going on? This is why you wanted a hot tub? So be careful with women like that, man, because she not even trying to have good experiences with me. She focused on the gram. She focused on with these strangers. She focused on getting attention. And a lot of times women end up like this when they were raised and they didn't get enough attention. You know, maybe she had a single mother. Her mother was working multiple jobs. She got raised by that iPad. You know, so be aware of this, man. A lot of these women like this, they will always be craving attention. You will never be enough for them. Going on to number two, she talks bad about her ex. This is a bad sign because that man for a long time and she's talking bad about him, that's saying something about her because that's the type of guy she liked. Birds of a feather flock together. Obviously, if y'all stayed together that long, you still had something for him. So maybe I'm not your type. If he was that bad and you stuck with him that long, maybe I'm not your type. You know, maybe she'll get with a dude like me, an upright man, an honest man, and she's not ready for that. You know, maybe you haven't done enough healing. Maybe you like that toxic, abusive stuff. Because some of, the, and this is a dark truth, some of these women act like they don't, but they do. They come to a man like me, I ain't gonna touch her. You know what I'm saying? You get an attitude, you can get out. But I ain't gonna touch, I ain't gonna beat on you, I ain't gonna, I ain't even, I, I ain't even gonna cuss at you, right? I'm a chill, calm, collected dude. I ain't gonna do none of that. But some of these women, they like that stuff. They like all that extra shit. I ain't doing all that extra shit, right? So with a dude like me, they might get bored. I might not be their cup of tea. But you're so used to that toxic stuff, and it comes down to the childhood a lot of times. She came up seeing her mama get beat. She came up seeing her mama get cussed out. So now she, that became normal, right? That became normal and she used to that. Maybe she got beat com coming up. Maybe she got cussed out a lot coming up. So now that's what she looks for because that's what she's so used to. You know, a lot of times it goes deep into people's childhoods. So just be aware of that, man. A lot of times she might be imprinted by this dude that cussed at her. She might be imprinted by this dude that beats on her and all this stuff, all these negative traits. But maybe she said all this bad stuff, but that's what she used to. So that's what she gonna stick to, right? And you come around trying to be a good guy, being the dude you supposed to be, sometimes being a little too nice, and she take that for granted and she starts shitting on you and disrespecting you. So yeah, that's number two. And number one, I done got some, I done, I done got some hate because I've been on TikTok talking about this before, but I said I would not date a woman that takes antidepressants. And I encourage y'all to do the same, man. If you're on your path to becoming great and the dudes that are watching this channel, Y'all trying to be great. Y'all ain't trying to settle for average or none of that crap, right? We trying to become great. You can't have a woman that can't control her emotions. She's not going to be a great help. Because there are going to be days, oh, she's depressed. Oh, she don't want to be touched. How is a woman supposed to help you and serve you 
And she can't control her own emotions. And I know they be like, Cole, you supposed to be there for her. What? <laughs> Why would I take all this baggage to begin with? She can't deal with her own emotions. She try to take a pill. Now, sometimes I understand this chemical imbalances, they can't help it. But for the vast majority of people that are present, I would argue that's probably not the case. It's probably they got caught in bad times and they didn't work their way out. And you gotta realize that's life, man. Bad times happen, good times happen. You have to be able to flow with the emotions. Sometimes life gets dark, man. Sometimes shit don't go your way at all. But popping a pill isn't gonna help anything. And that's part of the microwave society. We want a pill, we want a quick fix for everything. If that's the type of woman you dating, there's gonna be a lot of issues. She might go cheat on you and she gonna blame it on her depression. She might ghost you, come back, ghost you again, come back because she can't control her emotions, right? She, and she telling you, I can't control my emotions. I'm not good at controlling my emotions. I have these mental issues and I'm trying to take this pill to help it. And a lot of times these pills don't help. A lot of times these people get addicted to these pills. So watch out for that woman that is taking antidepressants. Watch out for that woman that says she's depressed and all this other stuff. Because trust and believe me, when she doesn't perform, when she doesn't help out, when she does something shady, when she backstab you, she's going to blame it on her depression. She's going to de blame it on her anxiety. Pretty much everybody has been depressed before, but you have to... Get out of that depression. Popping a pill isn't going to help that. It's going to keep you stuck right there. It's going to make you numb, but you're going to stay in that depression. So going back through it one more time, just to review it real quick. She's in love with the gram. Leave her where she at, man. Maybe if you just want to have a situation shit, but I want to get serious with women like that. Number two, is she talking bad about her ex? If she was talking bad about her ex, she's going to be talking bad about you pretty soon, right? And number one, don't mess with them women that are antidepressants. She's going to blame her depression on a lot of things, man. Um, especially if you're mentally well, you deserve someone that's mentally well. And I, people say that's wrong to say this stuff, but you can have standards, man. If you're trying to become great and you're on the path of greatness, you should want a woman that's going to accelerate you, not going to slow you down. That's going to get in your way. So that's all I got for y'all today, man. Make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. 90% of y'all haven't subscribed what are you doing man be a man of action go ahead hit that like button go ahead subscribe comment what you want to see next and i'll catch y'all in the next one